Well, today we're in our fourth day of our math and science camp here at the public library. This is a program specifically for ages 8 to 12, which hits that tween age level. And the focus is on all sorts of fun and educational math and science activities. So we do math problems mixed with art. We do chemistry experiments. Today we're doing our stations where they can do a variety of things like Sudoku, work with the Little Bits Kits program, which teaches them engineering and some building, or do something like Tangrams, which is also an art-based project that uses geometric shapes for spatial awareness. I love this program because you have these cool science experiments, chemistry experiments, and these cool creatures you get to uncover every day at math. This program has inspired me to do, be a scientist when I grow up. What I like about this program is um, there's a lot of cool sun, I mean science, math, fun stuff that you can do, and you're learning about stuff like today's Thursday. We're learning about the blood cells and um, white blood cells, red blood cells, and the plasma. This is one of the programs that I think really displays what the, what the public library does that is so important, which is to supplement what's happening in public education, to provide more assistance for homeschool parents and, t and kids and gives a chance for these kids to learn some new skills, have some fun with it. I've had kids come in and say things like that. They've never said, well, I like math and science now. You know, are we going to do division tomorrow? I've never heard kids say that. Uh, when, we, when I announced we were doing a chemistry experiment, you'd think we were at a rock concert. The, the cheer was so loud. So I've been amazed to see just how excited the kids are about math and science, and I think that's probably the most valuable thing you get from this camp.